Well, hello there, boys and girls, and welcome to a brand new video. As you remember previously, we were doing the lighting um, in the previous video for the new garage. Today, we will be discussing the floor status. Uh, more precisely, we need to prepare this floor for the leveling mass so we can level it up and uh, try to make a straight surface before actually painting the floor. Now there's a lot of dirt on the floor which we will have to clean. So we have to remove all of this dirt and to do this job I have a few items here. So right here you see the dimer liquid. We will not dilute this with the water. Instead we will just uh, spray it all over the floor as it is. Otherwise it's a concentrated liquid that goes in two parts mixing it with water but we will not be doing that here. Okay. So we will use this to clean the floor and this is our steel brush and we will use this to clean the floor additionally to scrape it off. So we have all of this mess to deal with and yeah let me begin with cleaning out the garage all of that stuff needs to come out before we start cleaning and preparing for the floor leveling in the comments please write which color to use on this floor i used to use the gray color i'm thinking of it again but i want to hear your input as well so stay tuned boys and girls Here we go, moving the tripods, all the bags, all the machinery and tools, and almost missing an ugly butterfly along the way. So let's take our dimer and spread it all over this floor. Just mix it up real good, just like so. <clears throat> and let's start. And here we go, a little ugly butterfly. Let's just save this little fella. He shouldn't die here. Come here, little boy. Yeah, yeah. Let me just grab you. I gotcha, little boy. Let's go outside. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fly! Alright, so let's continue. Let's take this dimer thing and just spread it all over the floor. Now I'm Flash. I'm as quick as one. Maybe not as pretty. And done. So what we do now is take um, this blue device here and just spread the dimer evenly along the floor of the garage. Let's do the corner here as well. Make sure it's evenly spread so that the entire floor is covered with the dimer. Just like so. So now you can see on these areas where it's very filthy how the dimer does its job. We can already see that the floor is cleaner, right? Yeah, you can see on these parts that the floor was actually gray. So what we do now is take this industrial active foam. We use this to clean very dirty cars, but here we will put it into this foamer device and spray it all over the floor itself. So let's do that. Putting in the entirety of the bottle here. I'll just mix it up with some water and I'll start. Here we go. Things are falling everywhere, but I'm happy with this wonderful, wonderful result. So, now, let's just move around the foam a little bit so you can see how much dirt there actually is. As you can see, there's quite a lot of it already gathered on the foam, right? So, let's just leave this for maybe 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll come back and steel brush the whole floor. Yeah, look at this. This is quite nasty. Whew. And this is going to be even cleaner. So, steel brush away. We're brushing it and brushing it. Now this is a detailed process. Um, I have sped up the image here, of course. This is not my natural speed, mind you. But, this is what you get. Now after the brushing process, which took approximately 25 minutes to complete, what do we get? Now let's move the foam away. Now look at this gray color on the floor. This is very close to the original. 
And there's one more thing I have to add. I kept cleaning this floor over and over again after every job. But yet, it was still so dirty. So now we're gonna remove the foam and take our pressurized washer and wash the entirety of the floor. Removing the foam and washing it off right now. I'm just rinsing off everything in high detail. I want this to look really, really good. And then we'll check out the results. So, this is the result we get after all our hard work of rinsing and washing. So the floor here has been completely degreased. So there's no grease on the floor itself. As you can see here, completely dry, completely ungreasy. And yeah, now what we're going to do is apply this bonding mass first. So we have to use this before we put the leveling mass on the floor. Now we'll put this all over the floor evenly and usually you have to wait around three hours. Depending on the situation you might want to wait a little bit more. So let's apply this bonding mass to the floor and get it ready for the leveling mass. I feel just like an artist. I just take the brush and paint away. And this is an interesting color too. The bonding mass is kind of blue, isn't it? It's blue. Dab and dee, dab and dab it. Dab and dee. Dab and dab it, dab and dee. But the do. And here we go. The blue bonding mass is applied. This is what it looks like right after the application. I will leave it here sitting for the next two, maybe four hours, who knows, maybe five and six, and then I'll get back to you with the leveling mass, boys and girls. So, mixing up the leveling mass. Here we go. Now, this is a long-lasting process. You have to understand the floor is not very level and there's a lot of holes, so I had to use a lot of mass to cover it all. Now here I got a little bit hungry because this looks delicious, like a spread on bread, right? Almost like um, whew, chocolate cream. Well, maybe with some nuts in it. So. A long, long process. As you can see, we barely began with the first, maybe sixth of the garage. It will surprise you when I tell you at the end how much of this mass I actually used to cover the entire floor. But let me just finish that right now, and then I'll tell you. Shouldn't really spoil the fun, should I? And there we are. The leveling mass has been completely applied to the floor. This is what it looks like when you finish. This mass currently is still wet. And I spent 10 25 kilogram bags of leveling mass to finish the floor in this garage. Now, based on how crooked the floor was, how uneven and holy, I think that we've done a great job here. The floor looks very level. I am very pleased with the result. But what we have to do now, boys and girls, is leave this whole thing to dry. Now, the drying process of the leveling mass is around 10 days, so I shouldn't be parking any cars before that time runs out. After that, well, I'll be thinking about the epoxy I will be using on the floor. Which color should I use? I still have to say, this also depends on you. I want you to tell me in the comments. I'm doubting between white and black color, maybe glossy. So, up to you. But in the meantime, what I would like to do is, um, well, give my thanks to Keramik Meister. These guys really know their job. So if you have any jobs that you are doubtful, let them know, contact them. They might be able to help you. Now, until next time, boys and girls, comment, like, share, and subscribe. 
make sure you ring the bell icon all the way so it rings in your head and goodbye boys and girls